looked like uh, from watching the, the Florida game last Saturday that the Alabama secondary, even though they're pretty good, they might be a, might be a little bit vulnerable. Have you seen anyone? Yeah, anything? they got a good team. Yeah. You'll never hear me say anything about any of their guys. They're all good. Um, you know, they lost a few guys from last year, so they're not the same group that were last year, but they're still a solid, talented. They got some young guys, but those guys are good athletes, good players. So. Look at the guy who was leading the SEC in interceptions. Was it Astor or Lester or something like that? Yeah. And the good Mark Barron had, yeah. had the pick hey, six well, they got 11, guys. They got 11 picks. Yeah, Florida's 11 got 12. Yeah, yeah. No, they got a good secondary. So, no, it'll be it'll be a fun matchup. We're looking forward to it. Coach Saban was talking today on the talking a little about Alshon. He was got he really likes Alshon and his, and his abilities. I mean, so do I. Yeah. Got that in common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good player. Well, how, 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 how you see Alshon matching up with some of the defensive backs? Um, good. He matches up with everybody pretty well. He's a little bigger than most guys, and uh, it'll be interesting. They play a little different defense than most teams, so it'll be it'll be interesting. We got to be creative in ways we find to get him the ball. It'll be a little tougher this week. What have, when you watch those three straight jump balls go incomplete? Was that kind of how much did you want one of those to work last year? I wanted them all to work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that's you know he's a freshman, and it's, it was a good reminder to him that listen, these, these guys are as good or better than you. And that, you know, as a freshman, that's that's one of the biggest differences in high school and college too. You're not used to guys that that can fight with you. And all of a sudden, that's a guy who's a good player that outfought him every play. Just about one of them was overthrown, but the other two guys just outfought him. And uh, I mean, it was a good reminder. You're not you're not a, as great as some of these guys covering you. You gotta you gotta learn how to fight harder with these guys. So uh, we watched all those three plays in a row last uh, this summer, and said, you know, to, to be a great player, you got you got to make all three of these plays. So the guys in the NFL now, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, all those guys are good players. But, uh, but again, you know, I saw him wasn't used to you know, seeing anybody that could just come out there and box him out and beat him up and out fight for the ball. So that was, uh, that was a good reminder for him. Did you learn his lesson after the touchdown catch he made at Auburn when he jumped over the guy? Did you learn his lesson from that? Uh, which one? The one, he, when he jumped over the guy in the end zone? The one, he Auburn, did, the, at Auburn? the one he didn't catch, the last one? No, no, the one he did catch. When he did catch? Yeah. Well, yeah, but then he dropped the one later. <laughs> so it's, it's all a constant reminder. It's tough. It's tough. You know, it was the end of the game. He's tired. He's running all over the place. He's triple teamed over just about. And it was a play that could have possibly tied the game. So, you know, it's it's tough to concentrate and fight and, and be a great player every single down. And he's fighting to try to be that guy. One thing your, your dad talked about, I think, was yesterday at the press conference was he's, Alabama was very good at, at turning and covering guys. Yeah. R- r- rather than relying on closing speed, did they, did they pretty much stick to the guys uh, pretty good? Yeah, they do a little bit of both. They, yeah. they close well and they wall out yeah. and, and cover you. They, they get in a package yep. where they put somebody on somebody with a couple guys deep a lot. So, no, they'll have a good plan to, to cover them up. What do you think about how they play in red zone defense? And just, they don't let people in the end zone. Hey, what, dude? D-lines. Yeah. What helps that, too? Maybe they got after Florida on the line of scrimmage pretty bad. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it takes 11 guys to, to get after them. And if we're going to continue to be really good in red zone, we'll have to we'll have to have some, some different ways of being effective by them. Yeah, they're good. Where's uh, Where's Ace at right now in terms of what he knows? That's what... He knows a lot. <laughs> yeah, where's he at? What he knows? He knows a lot. He's still learning, just like you know every freshman. You got to keep learning how to how to play. But he's a good player. He's going to get his opportunity. And as time goes on, he's going to be a better player every week. For us.